Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And <clears throat> somebody emailed me last night with a problem using the attribute eyedropper tool. They said nothing was happening. They would make a color. They, you know, I made a color mixing black with red and kind of get a burnt red looking color. And I've already kind of gone through this with him, but I thought I'd make a video. So you take your attribute dropper, take a sample, and then go over to your and nothing happens. Well, the problem he was having, he didn't have any properties checked. So you need to have the fill checked for this to work. So now you can get your eyedropper tool and then fill in that same color on another object. And with that said, if you also have the outline checked, when you do this, let's just start over. It's trying to fill in. If you have both of them checked, <clears throat> when you go to your eyedropper and take your sample, when you put the color in, now let's look at the difference. I'm going to left click and take away the fill. I've got a red hairline. I'm going to left click and take away the fill. I've got a red hairline where I had black. So it's going to do the outline is going to copy the outline too so let's do this one i've got a thick black copy or a box i'm going to take my eyedropper i'm going to take my sample i'm going to fill it in <clears throat> then i'm going to take the pick tool and i'm going to take away the outline and my outline is changed from that thick black to a red hairline because it did both so if you just want to fill in and you don't want to change your outline, just don't have that checked. Now, <clears throat> I've done a video on exactly like this. This is a picture from the internet. It is just a bitmap, 72 points, uh, both directions. <clears throat> and it will not, the eyedropper will not pick it up. So the way to do that, and this is what he was really trying to do, was put it into a plaque, and I've made videos on this before. But with this, you can go power clip and place inside frame. And now your, your picture is inside that power clip exactly like it was. So uh, the attribute uh, dropper tool would not work on this application because it just doesn't recognize what that is. It actually takes the block away. So in that case, you need to use the power clip tool. But anyway, I hope that answered his question, and thank you for watching.